Hi everyone, welcome. I am here today. I'm gonna to share with you a really fun and easy Christmas card that I was making and I thought I should just jump on and uh, create a video while I'm doing this because it's actually coming out pretty quick or quick, pretty cute, I should say. I'm quite happy with it. So I thought I would share it with you. This is a fun fold card and I don't remember what it's called, but it really doesn't matter. It's fun and it's different and it's it looks really cute. You're gonna love it. This is actually a card that we are going to be making at an upcoming class, um, having out at Rusty's Roadhouse. That's on December the 1st, Thursday night, December the 1st. I had to think about that for a moment at six o'clock. Uh, so come out for supper, stay to make cards. It includes, it is cards and cocktails. So there is a drink included in that. If you don't want a cocktail, you can have a mocktail or a pop or whatever. Uh, $35, we're gonna make three cards and just have a really fun evening of it. One of the cards we're gonna make is this one. So if you enjoy this card, come out, I'll have everything ready for you and we can make it together there. But let me show you what I am going to do. So we have a piece of mint macaron. Uh, this measures five and a half by four and a quarter. This is a piece of mint macaron. I've already folded it, it's eight and a half by, oh shoot, by three and a quarter, I think, by three and a quarter. And I folded that in half. And then what you need here is we've got two pieces of basic white that measures uh, three and an eighth by four and an eighth. So two of those, a piece of our specialty vellum. The one that I chose here has sort of the uh, glimmery snowflakes on it. It's not the flocked white one, it's the shimmery one that's kind of reflective. And this is like one of my favorites. If you've been paying attention to my cards or attended any of my classes, you would have seen that I have been using this like crazy. But anyways, this is what um, we're gonna use today. So three by four, and then two pieces of designer series paper. This measures one by four and an eighth. And this designer series paper, it's two-sided. You could use whichever you want, but it comes out of the Painted Christmas 12 by 12 designer series paper, which has beautiful, beautiful patterns in it. Uh, really kind of versatile to use all season long. And I can't seem to get in here and flip paper, but you can see all sorts of different colors um, and just stunning, nice greens and reds in there. So sort of traditional with some foliage and whatnot on there. But anyways, let's get stamping. Oh, and you do need a scrap of white for this as well. So I'm gonna actually put my card together first and let me find some glue. I'm gonna use seal today because I want a little bit of an extra hold on this. Since this middle piece is sort of just stuck to um, the card front here, I'm gonna try and center it as much as I can here. And I probably, I guess I could have done this after, but I think this is probably the best way to do that. I'm gonna stick that on like that. I might not just push it down too hard in case I need to give it a little move. And then I'm gonna take the designer series paper here. And I guess that's what liquid glue affords you, just a little bit of time to move your card around if you want to or your paper around like this I just kind of got on here a little bit crooked but let's try and straighten that out so I'm going to stick the designer series paper down the side and I just want to it looks a little crooked so I'm going to try and straighten it so when I work with seal I just I don't really push it down very hard until I'm sure I've got it where I want it um, but this is when liquid glue is helpful Okay, so that will work. And then on the other side, I've got another piece here that's gonna go on here. I might need to add a little bit of adhesive there. I see that it is kind of pulling up a little bit on the corners because I ripped it up. So let me just try to get in here and add a little bit of adhesive. Look at that. We can make it work. Okay, so we've got our two strips on there. And you know what, there isn't actually even mint macaron in this designer series paper, but doesn't it just coordinate so nicely with this? I love because there's such a variety of greens that it really will coordinate with anything. Okay, let's take one piece of our white and I'm gonna adhere this uh, snowflake paper to it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just add the adhesive kind of right here in the middle because when you're working with vellum, it kind of shows through if you don't put the adhesive on strategically. So I know I'm going to put something there in the middle to cover that up. I can always add more adhesive later if I feel that it's not sticking, but you can see this is well stuck on even though it's loose. 
and it's going to do exactly what we want it to do. This piece is going to go centered onto this middle piece here like that. So let's go ahead and add that on. See, it, there's really not a ton to this card, but you need to know what your measurements are. And uh, it took me a little while to figure out exactly how I wanted to decorate this, but I am happy with where this is going and I think you will be too. Okay, so we've got our beautiful snowflakes on there. This is going inside of our card. So you could stamp on here if you wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to set this inside so that we can write on it. You could stamp a sentiment in here. You could add another piece of designer series paper along the bottom or the top, whatever works for you. I just think it's beautiful, just like that. Like we wouldn't have to do anything else to this card and it's already like gorgeous. Seriously, take a label punch and put a sentiment on it. I've actually already got one punched out here and stick it on the front of your card, except I can't pick it up. Like stamp a sentiment on here, tie a little bow maybe and voila, you've got a gorgeous card. But we're gonna take it up just a little bit further because I have a hard time just not like keeping things as simple as they possibly can be. I don't make things hard, but I like to have layers and I like to have interesting things on my cards. So we're gonna use Poppy Parade here. It's kind of one of the brighter reds, which is gonna add a little bit to the Mint Macaron, which is kind of a subdued color, I find. So the Poppy Parade is really going to brighten that up for us. And I'm gonna stamp two of those on here. So when you stamp, you just tap, tap, tap. You don't need to push very hard. And then you're gonna just push down here gently and hold, okay? Let the ink transfer onto your paper rather than pushing it into your paper because uh, you're gonna end up with little halos around the edge of your stamped pieces if you do it that way. Now I've got Starry Sky and I'm gonna turn my paper this way. It depends on the scrap that you have. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment on there just like this. And again, I'm not pushing very hard. I'm just holding it down there for a second so the ink can transfer onto the paper and I can get a nice stamped image straight down, straight up. So now what I did is I kind of jumped ahead, but what I did is I used the Celebration Tag Dies. These stamps are also from the Coordinating Stamp Set Celebrate with Tags. One of my absolutely favorites, even for the holidays or for all holidays, makes gorgeous tags, which I'll show you the die cuts in a minute. But we have a mitten here, we have hearts, a balloon, and then various sentiments for all the different occasions, which I think is great. And then there's a to and a from here that are for the tags. So the mittens we stamped out of there. The Merry Christmas, actually, I took out of the Peaceful Deer stamp set. I just wanted a smaller one. But as you can see, there's lots of different choices here that you could use. Out of the tags, let me show you this. These are the dies that go with it. And again, you've got all the things to cut out the images that you stamp. So you've got the mitten, you've got some additional candles, which are really pretty for the birthday. You've got this that cuts out the labels, like the words. You have a balloon, an extra couple hearts, some more candles. Um, and then you have some labels and snowflakes and all these fun different things. But it also comes with these two different dies. Um, for cutting out tags. So this one here, it has these little lips here that you fold over or that you can. You could cut them off if you wanted to, but you can fold them over and then you shut your tag and it makes a little gift card holder. Like, I just think that's fantastic. This one here, again, it's a tag that you can fold in half. It has a scalloped little bottom on it. Um, and we are gonna use this set at my upcoming bags and tags class. So if you wanna take a look at that, that is a virtual class. Uh, and you can register for that on my website at www.sarahlynnstamps.com. And I'll put that in the comments as well for you. But we're going to use that there as well. But what I did is I took these, the little mitt and I ran it through the die cut machine twice. And I cut out the mittens. And then I actually just used my scissors to cut out the Merry Christmas. So let me show you that. Um, set this aside. Now I pulled out an old twine, uh, black and white striped. You could use any twine that you had on hand, Liv linen thread, any of the white, uh, the grays, comes in all sorts of different colors. We have a starry sky one that's like this. This one just happens to be black and white, uh, but there is a starry sky, white and starry sky, which would be beautiful on this card um, as well. So anyways, this is what I did. I punched out the two 
uh, what do we call these? Mittens. <laughs> and then I took a piece of double-sided uh, tape and just adhered those to the back. And the reason I use that one is because it's something that I have in my crafting cupboards, but it's also very sticky. So it's going to hold that on really well. And then I cut out the Merry Christmas, like I said here, the starry sky, and I just beveled the edges. You wouldn't have to do that at all. It could just be cut out straight. Uh, you could create a flag in it, whatever you want to do. But we are going to use this to decorate the front of our card. And you're going to see how using these little mittens just kind of makes everything pop. Okay, so of course I didn't pull out any dimensionals. I think I have some here. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of the mittens. And again, just by sticking it kind of over top of the ribbon again, I'm just reinforcing that hold uh, so that it's not going to go anywhere. I like having strings on mittens. I don't know. It just seems cuter for some reason. Okay, so we are going to, I'm also going to just kind of twist my uh, ribbon here or my twine just by crossing it over. And again, you could use any ribbon or twine that you have on hand. And I'm going to stick one up there and one kind of more into the middle. I just want to make sure that my twine isn't going to hang down too low. You could always shorten this up too if it's hanging too low, um, but I think that works out perfect. And then this one we're going to just take and stick down here. You know what? I actually think I want my mittens a little bit lower. I'm going to maybe just lower this down here a tiny bit. So see again, I didn't quite stick it on. Um, as strongly so that I could reposition it if I wanted to. There you go. Okay, so we've got our ribbon. We're going to go this way, I guess. And I'm going to stick my Merry Christmas. Let's see. I might just tuck my ribbon up in here a little bit so it's not quite so long. And then, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just tuck that up there a little bit and then stick my Merry Christmas down here. So you just kind of play with it a little bit till you find a layout that works for you. And I'm going to use some mini dimensionals again on the one end because uh, it's going to be off of the mittens. And then on the other end, I'm going to again just use this adhesive. Did I get any on there? I don't think so. And again, you could use liquid adhesive or anything that you have on hand. You don't have to use steel, but steel is nice and um, strong and it's going to hold on to your designs. Now, the reason I did that is because our mittens are popped up, so this end would be floating in the sky if I didn't put a dimensional underneath of it, but this side is going to be flat against our mitten, so one side has a dimensional and one side does not. I'm going to just stick that down so that my twine stays underneath where I want it, and there we go. We have our little Merry Christmas card. Now, the other thing I haven't quite decided, and maybe you can help me decide, is if we're going to put a little snowflake in here, or not. I mean, you know what? I think that looks adorable. But the other option is we have these gorgeous in-color matte decorative dots, which we have Starry Sky and then the Orchid Oasis are nice. Like any of these blues would work out well. Or there's even um, the Sweet Sorbet is kind of tucked in here, which would look really nice. So, I mean, we could put the snowflake on there, but we could also just use these beautiful dots so let me just try that out i'm going to grab my take a pick tool you know what i spent two days in my crafting room cleaning up you would not know that i have been in here um as soon as i get crafting it is like complete chaos so these are like itty bitty little things some of them they're not all itty bitty and then I'm going to take one big one. And the nice thing about these ones is they are, um, let me see where I want that. They are kind of have sort of have a gradiated color. So up here is like really dark. And as you get to this side, there's lighter versions of that color. So it adds a lot of depth to your, to your projects. And this one here, I want to lower down here. I think there we go. There we go. What do you think about that? Or did you like the snowflake better? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you like better. I haven't quite decided. I know you could always do both, but we'll see. Maybe we will. Come out to the class and find out. But anyways, there's our project, our cute little Christmas card with the stunning mittens from our Celebrate with Tags 
uh, stamp set and coordinating dies. We've got the beautiful matte decorative dots and our shimmery vellum in the background. But look at this fun fold card. Isn't that fun? You know what? I'm going to stamp inside while I got these here. I'm going to, we've got Merry Christmas already. Let's see. May this season be filled with peace and joy. I think that's lovely. We're going to stamp inside. And we're getting like really risky here because I usually like to stamp before I adhere things in case I make a mistake. But here goes nothing. We're going to stamp, stamp, stamp. And then I'm going to put this kind of towards the top because I want to leave a little bit of room to write at the bottom. Ta-da! Oh, we did it. We did it. We didn't make a mess after all. So there we go. We've got this gorgeous Merry Christmas mittens with May the season be filled with peace and joy. Now, if you're wondering about that sentiment stamp, it's actually in a brand new release set uh, that is called Framed and Festive, and it's part of the Fitting Florette series. So this and the designer series paper, which I cannot find right now, um, are special releases. So they're part of the new suite but the Christmas portions are only carrying over until Christmas. So there's designer series paper, they're framed and festive, which I love because look at these gorgeous sentiments in here. I've used them on all my Christmas cards. Oh wait, there's the Merry Christmas we used. It was not out of the deer set. Um, so we've got Merry Christmas from all of us, fa la 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 la, Noel, and then tis the season to be jolly. May the season be filled with peace and joy from our home to yours and have yourself a merry little Christmas. So we've got all of the possible sentiments to put inside your Christmas cards uh, that you could potentially ever need. And I have used them on pretty much all of my cards this year. I've used them on my uh, cards for my classes, upcoming classes. So this is, these is, I'm not sure which class I'm doing these ones at. This is another one of the cards that I've created here, but you can see the sentiment there. And we've also got this one. This one was a case from another demonstrator, uh, Brenda. And uh, I just thought it was gorgeous. And so this is a case of her card. And I love it. The little white snowflakes here. We've got one of the whimsical snowflakes in the back. But again, we're using the sentiment here. And uh, so anyways, the cards go on and on and on where I've been able to make use of that set. And I just love it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this card today. Thank you for joining me. And happy stamping. Merry Christmas.